Hello everyone, welcome to the Arcade. This is a quick tutorial on working with the DXF files that are downloaded from the website. Alright everyone, uh, in this example we will be looking at the plans for a Atari Quantum cabinet and that's what we'll be using for reference. So do a quick search on the site for Quantum and it pops right up. As we scroll down the cabinet plans, you'll see that the VCarve Pro drawing is basically the same thing as the AutoCAD drawing, and you'll see that there's three files here. There's a VCarve Pro, a DXF file, and a files for print. The VCarve Pro file is really only used if you have a CNC machine. We'll start out taking a look at the PDF file, which is the files to print. Uh, this file is printed to scale, so the idea is that you can take this file to your local print shop, print it out on 36 inch wide paper, uh, glue it to your plywood and essentially use it as a template for tracing uh, your side profile. If there are any hard to cut pieces like the key that's pictured here, I usually try and include that on here as well. Um, in this case I also included the blocking and the blocking layout uh, to help with the uh, assembly of the cabinet. The remainder of the parts that we're interested in for this cabinet are usually fairly rectangular in nature and we can get those from the DXF drawings. Uh, so we just basically want to save out the drawings, uh, save it to our desktop, and then open it in your favorite CAD program. Okay, in this case we're going to be using Autodesk DWG TrueView. Uh, in this case it's 2022, but 2023 is also out now. Uh, I used to be a huge fan of DraftSite, but um, it's no longer free. As you can see, the DWG file opens into TrueView without any problems with it. You can basically use your scroll button on your mouse to zoom in and out. You can also scroll with your mouse and move around at the same time, which will allow you to zoom into different areas. The measurements for all the pieces are actually embedded in the DWG file. And the easiest way to display this is if you go up to Measure and then the drop down, go to Quick, uh, it will then bring up measurements for you. As you go around the drawings and looking at the measurements with it, a couple things to note. Um, the drawings are made up usually of segments, uh, basically whenever there's a transition between a corner or, or a spherical end with it. Um, and so basically what the TrueView is doing is it's showing you those segments with it. So as, as you move around, for example, if you look at a, a circle, it's going to show you four uh, quarter spheres essentially, and it's going to tell you what the radius is for all four. As I mentioned earlier, most of the hard to draw stuff I try and put on the printable plans so that you can actually glue it down and use it as a template. Uh, pretty much the remaining of the parts here are simple rectangles. You can identify the rectangles easily um, because they also have the right angle boxes in the corner that show you that they're at 90 degrees. And that's kind of the quick uh, 90 second tutorial on using TrueView. Um, as you move around, you should be able to get all the measurements that you need for cutting your remaining pieces. I hope this was of benefit to you. I will be doing a full build plan uh, using the paper templates in, in the future, um, which I'll include a lot more detail on how to actually navigate and get to all the nitty gritty details that you need to uh, reproduce your cabinets. Thank you all for watching. 